lot of the places. And of course, the main reason why I do the illustrations is for the speakers to have something to show the audience during their talk. And while the speaker's talking, my illustrations are, are behind them, backing them up and talking as well. And then because I do stuff for the speakers, then it makes its way into the videotapes, uh, DVDs that we have available uh, too. And you know, one of my favorite things when I was a little kid to do growing up was I love dinosaurs. And uh, to kind of express that love, I used to draw them a lot. And uh, you know, through the years, they've gotten a little bit better and a little bit better. But I always kind of annoyed my teachers while I was drawing dinosaurs all the time. They didn't really care for my subject matter. And so they were always saying, Dan, why can't you draw something more constructive? You know, you're always drawing those silly dinosaurs. Come on, let's see something worthwhile. And uh, you know, of course, I've never stopped. I never listened to, to that advice. And uh, I'd really love to show them some of the books that I've produced. Um, <laughs> dinosaurs seem to be pretty in, important to me these days as well. And uh, you know, my road to AIG actually started just a few years after I graduated art school. I attended and graduated the Joe Kubert School of Cartoon and Graphic Art out in Dover, New Jersey. Uh, a great school. Um, full, the staff is all professional cartoonists. And uh, after I graduated there, I went back to my hometown in Marquette, Michigan. That's the blob way up on top there. Does everybody know that Mark, Michigan is a two-part state that there's that Upper Peninsula too? All right. Say ya to the UP, eh? So it was a couple years after that that I was introduced to my first Ken Ham video. It was a series called Answers or Understanding Genesis. And it was a, a series with uh, Ken Ham and Gary Parker. Have you seen that? Anybody seen that really old? back in the black and white overhead days? Well, up until that point, uh, creation type uh, topic matters were, were interesting to me. Dinosaurs, the Bible, you know, that sort of thing. And it was this videotape series that made that interest uh, a passion of mine. And um, I really have to credit Steve Cardinal as well for the, uh, the impact that he had with his, with his illustrations. You know, many of the illustrations that I do today uh, come from the foundation that Steve has laid so many years ago. And uh, Steve is the one that uh, originally concepted the castle diagrams. So, you know, don't, don't give me credit for those. I've just redone things that Steve started so many years ago. And I really look up to Steve for that. And uh, after... A couple years after I was exposed to uh, Ken's series here, I finally landed my first professional cartooning job. I spent uh, five years at that, at that position in Minnesota, and then I left that job to come to Answers in Genesis. Now, I have to tell you that the job that I had back in Minnesota, it was not focused on the family. It wasn't Universal Studios. It wasn't Disney. It wasn't the Institute for Creation Research. You know, if you notice that uh, some of our guys have come from really impressive sounding backgrounds, I mean, like Universal Studios, and you kind of get introduced that way when you have those impressive backgrounds. Yeah, meet so-and-so. He's from uh, Universal Studios. And there's always that wow factor. You know, ooh, you know, hey, nice to meet you. You know, that sort of thing. And I have to tell you, my job, well, kind of lacks that wow factor. I'm not from Focus on the Family. I'm not from any of these places. The place that I left to come to AIG, Mellow Smello. <laughs> hey, meet Dan Letha. He's from Mellow Smello. <laughs> well, what did you do there? <laughs> Actually, I was um, Mellow. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Mellow Smello is well known for scratch and smell stickers, so just forget those things you're thinking about, all right? Well, I did five years, almost five years of children's products for that company, and of course, uh, Dinosaurs was also part of my Mellow Smello years. But during my Mellow Smello years, I was just hungry, again, because of that video series that I had seen previous, um, really hungry to gain information about the creation ministry and the Bible and, and learn all those things I could. And the dynamic way that Ken taught it was, was really different from anyone else that I had heard previous to that. And the thing that got me excited, um, I, I listen to ton, tons and tons of audio tapes as well. So I'm, I'm not really a uh, bookworm, kind of a tape worm. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> it, it was because of the uh, it was because of those tapes that I, get, I gained this burden to get the message out in a way that I could. Now, being a cartoonist, you draw cartoons, and so I developed this cartoon called Creation Wise. You, has anybody heard of Creation Wise? Have you seen that thing? Well, it's continued to this day, and and I'm uh, continuing to draw that monthly for the uh, the Answers in Genesis newsletter.